you're now watching the Superbook Show. Welcome, everybody. Today, we're getting into another Keeping It Real segment. We are? Yeah, but this one's going to be a little different. Why is this one different? I know the kid who sent in the question. I go to school with him. He told me something today, and I have no idea what to say to him. So you brought it here? Yes, but he will remain anonymous. That's fine. What did he say? He says most kids he knows has a single parent. Usually it's their mom, but in his case, his mom wasn't there. Whoa. Yeah, he says a mom is supposed to be the one person who's always supposed to love you, so he's hurting pretty bad. Wow, I couldn't imagine. He wanted to know what God had to say about his situation. I mean, I can't speak from experience, but I have heard someone talk about this before. Hey, I'm all ears. He said that God is whatever or whoever we need him to be. He provides what we lack. And one of his specialties is being a parent to the parentless. Whoa, God is whatever I want him to be? Not whatever you want him to be. He's whatever you need him to be. He provides what we lack. The 27th Psalm says that even if our fathers and mothers abandon us, God will always take us in. I have never heard that before. I had neither, but from it you can see that regardless of which parent forsakes you, God will never reject you. Wow, everyone needs to hear this. Please, keep going. People that have been orphaned, forsaken, and forgotten have a special place in God's heart. Because in Psalms, it also says that God is a father to the fatherless, a defender of widows, and he places the lonely in families. You know, you're right. What do you mean? My friend doesn't have his mom, but he has his aunts and uncles helping to take care of him. Matter of fact, a lot of teachers really like him, and a lot of kids' moms, come to think of it, my mom even likes this kid. Sounds like God is providing what he needs. Yeah, he still gets down about his mom, though. And that may be because when things don't come from the place we want them to, it's hard to see where they're actually coming from. That's so true. He might not think it's special for all these people to like him, but if all these teachers really like him, he's got to be special. Exactly. Hey, let's pray for all the kids out there who feel the way my friend does. Let's do it. And for everyone watching, God may provide for you in a different way. Don't focus so much on how he will, just know he will. Heavenly Father, thank you for being our Father and for taking us in even when our parents forsake us. Please comfort everybody watching and put them into families and help them recognize when you're doing it so we can be reminded of how much you love us. Thank you for loving us like your own children and never forsaking us like a good father. In Jesus' name, amen. His word is forever alive. Please download our Superbook app or visit superbook.cvn.com. And remember, no matter what you're hurting from, God can heal it and fix your broken heart. God is love. See you soon. He's whatever you need him to be. The 27th Psalm. God can heal, heal it. God. Mm. But I have heard someone talk about this before. Hey, I'm all ears. Please download I'm, our. I'm sorry, I looked at us. Okay. Ready? Amen. I had part of the prayer, but okay. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. Oh, well then I'm supposed to say amen. Okay. No, Abby's supposed to say amen. Don't steal my amen. Okay. <laughs>